show for today. We're talking to Councilman Walter Hunt from District 3. And of course, uh, Councilman Hunt, before we had our first, uh, second commercial break, you were telling us about uh, some of the uh, activities uh, in the uh, Metropolitan Council. Mm -hmm. And specifically, we left off, I think, with the uh, possibilities, possibility of a ballpark right. uh, being uh, coming to Nashville. Let's pick up at that point. Okay, they're, they're, Nashville is really busy and it's buzzing. I think it's going in a great direction. We've had some good leadership over the past uh, several years. Mm -hmm. uh, not only the, are we looking to get a ballpark, we are uh, looking to get a new convention center mm -hmm. at the tune of about 455 million bucks mm -hmm. or dollars. Uh, we are looking at a new Western uh, Hotel mm -hmm. coming down on Broad Street. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at all of that type of building, you're talking about a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've been concerned about, and they have satisfied the council, uh, that this would not be a burden on the taxpayer. Good, very good. And because I think the constituents, uh, the citizens of Davidson County, just about had all the taxes that they can stand. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, agreed that all of these venues would be funded by private mm -hmm. sources, uh, like the ballpark, they had several banks to step up and say, well, we're going to support, mm -hmm. invest some money in it. And so they are coming up with their own financing. Mm -hmm. As I said before, the city will probably put in just a little bit just for the maintenance of mm -hmm. it. Uh, then you got the convention center coming mm -hmm. in because we are saying that the current convention center on commerce is just too small and yeah. we can't compete with cities like Orlando and Florida and, and uh, big cities mm -hmm. like that, and you lose a lot of money coming to cities if mm -hmm. you don't have a place where they can hold Good. large conferences mm -hmm. because these conferences are getting larger and larger and they have to have a space. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the space, they won't come. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go to one that's much larger. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, they decided that, well, we need another convention Good. center. Mm -hmm. That's going to be at the tune of about $455 million. They got the, uh, a lot of the business community uh, supporting it. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time they're doing that, Arpaland is expanding their convention center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you expand both Arpaland and our current convention center, it is said that that would put Nashville in the top three. Oh, mm -hmm. so that means in terms of holding large conventions, mm -hmm. there's a lot of activity created. Yeah, a being lot number of number three, yeah, is. and they bring in a lot of <laughs> yeah. money. Mm -hmm. It's like the hotel that they're going in on Broad Street at Lower Broad. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, supposed to bring in somewhere around two million dollars in taxes. Mm -hmm each year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're talking about a lot of money, mm -hmm. but we're talking about some large venues as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that if we get all that in, which I don't see any reason why we should not, mm -hmm. uh, then Nashville's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Nashville's going to be right at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they're looking at Nashville as one of the fastest growing cities in the South anyway, mm -hmm. because see, Nashville sets on three major interstates mm -hmm. and it is said that Nashville connects with two-thirds of the nation. Mm -hmm. Just and, come through yeah, here one way or coming, mm -hmm. coming from mm -hmm. the north to the south, mm -hmm. generally you're going to come through Nashville. Mm -hmm. So that's been, that's been a plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, one of the last things I guess we can uh, perhaps uh, talk about over the last five or six minutes is uh, some of the problems that, that, that you see in the uh, various communities in Nashville. I think one of the problems that uh, uh, everybody will admit is that there's an increased enrollment in, in all of the schools and whatnot. Uh, what are some of the things, uh, some of the possibilities that you see and some of the things that they're saying about education in the Metropolitan Council now? Well, in the Metropolitan Council, we want to try to put our education system uh, make it one of the top in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether pouring more money into it would mm -hmm. make it better mm -hmm. or restructuring it or what, but I know you, they got a lot of support. I support the Metro National Public School System mm -hmm. because I think it's, it, it is a good one. Uh, it's a large one. Mm -hmm. We're talking about 75,000 
uh, school kids. Mm -hmm. So that's a large Seven population. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I think right now we're spending a little over nine thousand dollars per student. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is when I looked at that number, it was kind of startling comparing mm -hmm. to where it was when I was in school. Uh, oh, when I was and, in school, yeah. yeah. And so <laughs> what we're saying is, is with all that money, we ought to have uh -huh. a, we ought to have a great. Mm -hmm. Not a good, mm -hmm. but a great education system. Mm -hmm. So I think the council's behind the governor, mm -hmm. the mayor, and the board of mm -hmm. education to try to make mm -hmm. our system the best mm -hmm. that we can make it. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a lot of preschool programs now. Mm -hmm. We're going to get more of those. And I tell everybody, if they want to get in contact with Walter Hunt real quick, got mm -hmm. a problem, just mm -hmm. hit me up at www.nationaldistrict3.com. Mm -hmm. And that's got, that, that, that covers you. That's got yeah. the whole thing uh, covered in reference to how what you're doing and how they might be able to uh, Absolutely. get in touch with you. Ask me a question. Mm -hmm. uh, see what's going on in the third district. If you got any question about the city, mm -hmm. they can put that question a question in there as well, mm -hmm. and they'll get a response back immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, in, in, in looking over the long range of. Uh, opportunities that are available. Uh, I think that uh, you, uh, you've worked with the Metropolitan Action Commission for, for, uh, for a long time and, 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 and we find that we still have a large problem with many of our young people, our youth. You see there's a lot of uh, violence and a lot of, uh, some people say a lot of gang activities and et cetera. What, what, what is the council's attitude in reference to uh, something you know, to do with our youth? That's almost a whole new show. Mm -hmm. I have my own uh, 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 thoughts about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I also taught school mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at uh, in the middle school uh, for a year before I got elected to the council. And, and, I, and being a psychotherapist student, mm -hmm. I'm looking at some of the attitudes and some of the problems yeah. that we're experiencing with in the middle schools. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we've gotten to the point that we can address the problems that those kids are having in the middle school. Mm -hmm. And when they go undressed or unnoticed, they take them right on into the high, high school. Mm -hmm. And then they, they don't finish high school. Mm -hmm. And then we got that other and, and element out mm -hmm, there because mm -hmm. Nobody's recognizing mm -hmm. this person's got a problem, and I don't care who we are. Mm -hmm. If we got a problem, that person's going to need help. Mm -hmm. You can't ignore it because if you ignore it today, you're still going to have to deal Do with it, it mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether it's going to be in jail or it's going to be some kind of problem, mm -hmm. it's still got to be dealt with. We do not have the facilities in the public school mm -hmm. that will give kids psychiatric counseling. Mm -hmm. Not guidance counselors, that's okay. a different discipline. Mm -hmm. We need somebody in the school system that can understand the problem that the kids are having mm -hmm. or what they're thinking mm -hmm. so that we can give them a, some people call it uh, attitude adjustment, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's more than attitude adjustment, mm -hmm. it's a real way of thinking mm -hmm. that fits with what the school system are trying to teach as opposed to what they think mm -hmm. the school is trying to teach. And, and in a real sense fits into what life is all about there because no matter what their situation is, once they get out into the real life, That's they're right. going to have to live by the rules and the regulations. Of and the they rules. won't be able to because mm -hmm. right now a lot of them are not able to adjust mm -hmm. and follow directions in school. Mm -hmm. So how will they be able to follow direction in mm -hmm. real life mm -hmm. when school is teaching real mm -hmm. life? Well, now, do you think that uh, and a lot of folks say that it all starts at home? Uh, what, what would you say in reference to that? I agree with you. It started home, but see, like anything else, we've let it go so long. Mm -hmm. Now it's like herding cats mm -hmm. because you got two or three generations of parents mm -hmm. sagging and mm -hmm. doing the same thing that, that the kids, kids are doing. Are doing. Mm -hmm. And so it's difficult to talk about it starting at home. That's right. And because have, you have to cut it off here in, in the school system. That's right. That's the public that's system. Because what we're seeing in the school system is coming straight from home mm -hmm. and the communities in most cases. Mm -hmm. And so what you got is a the school system versus the community. Mm -hmm. And they're not on the same page. Okay, we've got a minute to go here, uh, Councilman Hunt. Let's give you an opportunity over the last minute we have to uh, sort of speak to your constituents in, in, in terms of what, you, what you're trying to uh, accomplish uh, dealing with them. You know, it, it, it's so much out there, but I think the immediate needs, and, and see, I have district-wide meetings mm -hmm. in the third district, and one will probably be coming up pretty soon. 
But one of the things that the, the, my constituents tell me that they want a quality, safe community. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can get that done mm -hmm. is to bring in quality business mm -hmm. and have quality homes built mm -hmm. that creates a quality community. Uh, right now we got a sub um, shopping center coming in mm -hmm. on Dickinson Road right next to Bradley mm -hmm. Parkway and that's the only shopping mm. center, real shopping center, that will be existing in the third district. Okay, and of course, let me uh, stop here, uh, okay. uh, Councilman Hunt, and let me uh, encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.